Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so grateful that you made it back today. Let's start off with a song. Ready? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Let's meet someone new now. Now my someone new is Gertrude the Grasshopper. I have a couple of questions for her this morning. Hello, Gertrude. You are so fluffy. Say hello to the boys and girls. There you go. Gertrude, do you ever have to do chores? Ch ch chores? No, I'm a grasshopper. That's true. Well, us humans, we have to do chores. And kids sometimes have to do things like clean their room or wash the dishes. You're lucky you don't have to do any of that. No, I just worry about eating and staying out of very large puddles. Well, that's something to worry about if you're a grasshopper, isn't it? Let me put you down and I'll show you what I worry about. So, I have a little daughter. Her name is Sophie. She's in the sixth grade and she has to do chores all the time. I said, Sophie, you have to clean the kitchen. Did she clean the kitchen? Look at this picture. What do you think? The kitchen is a mess. Now, how do you think that made me feel? Do you think that made me feel angry? Or do you think that made me feel happy? That's right, that made me angry. I needed to remember that Sophie is still learning and sometimes needs help to remember her chores. Now, anger is a very strong emotion that you feel in your body. When I'm angry, I like to use things in my toolbox to help me calm down. Let me grab that. Now, remember, boys and girls, you can make your own calm down toolkit with things you have around the house. You can put them in a shoe box and color around them, and it can be your special place you go to when you're feeling strong feelings. So in my calm down toolkit, I have this little sequence, and it helps me when I rub it back and forth kind of calm down the texture, helps me relax. I have these funny squishy things that I can kind of move around and it can also help me with my breathing. And I have this thing called a fidget. So the fidget helps focus my mind on something other than the anger that I'm feeling and helps me relax too. So, I want to know now how you're feeling. So help me make my letter so we can put my letter mirror and check in on how you're feeling. Are you ready? First, I'm going to use a big line to make my letter today. It's going to go straight down from the top. Then I'm going to use my little curve. Here it goes. It's a P, but wait. Then I'm going to use another little curve to make another letter. What letter have I made? That's right, it's a B. I'm gonna grab my letter B mirror, and let's see. I already know how I'm feeling, much calmer after my calm down box, but how are you feeling? Let's sing a song together to find out. Let's watch. Get ready to sing along with me. And Shy Bunny. Shy Bunny doesn't like to sing, but maybe if we sing with him, he'll sing along too. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Whew, that was fast. Surprised and you know it's off your feet. If you're 
surprised and you know it stomp your feet you're surprised and you know it then your face will surely show it you're surprised and you know it stomp your feet if you're silly and you know it jump around if you're silly and you know it jump around if you're silly and you know it then your face will surely show it if you're silly and you know it jump around Our feelings are so important. Thank you, Shy Bunny. Now remember, boys and girls, it is so important for you to check in on how you're feeling, not just once, but throughout the day, and check in on those around you, like your grandparents or your parents, too. Now we have a very special friend who'd like to share their picture and story. This is Teddy, special letter T for Teddy, see? Now, Teddy is playing outside alone on the soccer field. He is bouncing a ball. Now, I wonder how Teddy is feeling. So sometimes you can't see people's faces, but you can use the clues around them to think about how they might be feeling. So how do you feel when you play outside and you get to play something like soccer? Do you think that would make you feel excited? If so, make an excited face like this. Or do you think that would make you feel gloomy? If you think so, make a gloomy face like this. Ooh, I see some excited faces. Yes, I would be excited too. Now remember, I want to share your story and picture with all of our friends here. If you have something you'd like to share, send it to the address below. And don't forget, you get a special bonus if you send in your picture and story. You get these fun activity books. And inside them, they have different activities and coloring things that you can do, all brought to you by our friends here at PBS. All right, now it's time to go through and see what we have going on today. Let's ring our bell. Here's our visual schedule. We did our emotional check-in. We're going to do our weekly investigation around the book, The Grouchy Ladybug, and then it'll be time to sing our goodbye song. So let's see if I have my movement card here. Ready to see the letter? Da 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 da! The letter B! We're going to buzz like a B over to our intentional message. You might even want to get your stinger out. Ready? Here we go. Bzzz, 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 bzzz. All right, we're gonna work on rhyming words today. Rhyming words are words that sound the same and have the same ending. So remember yesterday I told you to practice with these words, cat, hat, and rat. Do you notice when I'm saying them that they sound the same? Rat, cat, hat. There's a little rhyme you can say to help you remember. Cat, hat, they both say at. Now let's look at some of the characters in our story and try to make rhymes with them. Let's see, ladybug. Is it gonna be pale or mug that rhymes? Ladybug, mug, or ladybug, pale? That's right, ladybug, mug. They both say ug. Let me put that right next to the ladybug here. All right, let's do another one. How about sparrow? Sparrow cone? Sparrow wheelbarrow? Which one sounds the same? That's right, sparrow wheelbarrow. They both say arrow. Let's do one last one. Get this off here. Ooh, this one's tricky. Whale. Whale pale. Or whale cone. What words sound the same? That's right, whale, pale. They both say ale. So those words sound the same. Now boys and girls, when we watch our video, you're gonna get to practice doing some rhyming words. Let's see if you can remember what rhyming words are. Let's watch the video together. He's tiny and he's flying. He's got six legs a trying. Has eight bits in his tummy. My grouchy ladybug, ladybug. Rhyme time. Rhyme time. Time to check our rhyming skills. 
What word rhymes with ladybug? Is it hug or is it lollipop? Don't forget to check that ending sound. Yes, it's hug. Hug, ladybug. They both say ugh. Listen to the ending. Let's rhyme one more time. What word rhymes with sparrow? Is it salt or is it arrow? The answer is arrow. Sparrow, arrow. They both say arrow. Listen to the ending. Now let's try to find the word that rhymes with whale. Is it snail or is it watermelon? Yes, the answer is snail. Snail, whale, they both say ale. Listen to the ending. Let's play a bonus round. This time, look around your house and find something that rhymes with bear. If you didn't have enough time, hit pause or ask a grown-up for help. Let's try another one. Can you find something in your house that rhymes with the color red? Thank you for playing. I hope you keep practicing rhyming words. Time, time, time. time. Listen to the Boys and girls, remember you can read all about the grouchy ladybug in, on the Sora app and all about insects too. Don't forget to check that out. Now right now, I'd like to sing our grouchy ladybug song before we move on to our visual schedule. Are you ready? It goes like this. I'm a grouchy ladybug, don't talk to me. I pretend I'm as tough as tough can be. First I find some me fits, but I don't share. I'd rather pick a fight and fly out of there. I meet many animals and pick a fight until a whale gives me an awful fright. In the end, I return to my little leaf, not quite so grumpy, what a relief. I'm so glad we got to share that song. Let me ring my bell. Looks like all that we have left is our goodbye song. Let's sing that together. Don't forget to sing with me at home. Here we go. A B, C, later, D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya, H, I, have to go now, J, K, bye-bye now, L, M, N, O, I had a good time, P, Q, R, you're gonna miss me, S, T, you are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z. And I am, I'm gonna miss you so much. Can't wait to see you tomorrow where we're gonna do a mindful minute with Miss McCarthy. We'll see you tomorrow, boys and girls. Goodbye. brand new day time to learn and games to play learning things is so much fun learning is good for everyone